So when did, did you start to think about doing the summer song there at home? Um, <clears throat> last second, really. I was coming around third, and um, you know, I looked to my left to see where the ball was, and I saw it was going to beat me. And then probably the last step or two, I saw Yachty go down, and you know, your first thought's like, okay, I'm going to run him over because he's right over the plate. And then I was thinking, since he was down, it's like, why don't you jump? And then I just jumped. You know, and then the rest was, you know, history. When you're in the air and you end up somersaulting and landing on home, like, did you have a conscious sense of I need to catch home, or is that just? Oh I'm yeah, I mean, it's yeah. I mean, it would be pointless if I didn't <laughs> think that one. But I, uh, when I jumped, I was thinking I'm going to touch with my left hand, um, but it was going to be an ugly fall because I just didn't have enough momentum going forward. So it helped that I hit Yachty either by, I hope he's all right, but either his helmet or shoulder or something, and it kicked my feet up. So it allowed me to somersault into the landing, so it wasn't a bad landing. Did you know you had the hops to get over? I didn't, you know, you don't even think about it. You know, honestly, I was joking. I was trying to do my best Willie Mays Hayes impersonation. <laughs> I mean, you think about it as a kid, and I mean, I've never done that. I mean, I wish I could say I planned it, but it just was instincts and just trying to score any way you can. Was there any fear involved at all once yeah. you're in midair just about how you're going to complete the landing? No, I, I think um, it just all happens, you know, with that. You're just trying to touch home and then have as successful landing as you possibly can. Did your manager say anything to you when you got back to the dugout? Yeah, yeah. Gibby was, I was like, hey, am I staying in the game or what? I mean, I knew I was out, but I was just clowning with him. And he was like, no, you're done. I'm like, are you serious, man? Are you sure you don't want me to stay in there? And he turned around and laughed. And uh, he was like, man, I've never seen that. And I said, well, man, that's a compliment. You've been in the game about 78 years. <laughs> you know, so it was good. I have was grateful a, for it. Have you had a chance to check your phone at all? <laughs> I, well, I came, right when I came in, I mean, I saw it blowing up, so I can only imagine. I mean, who knows all the highlights that it is um, on there. So I'm sure my wife's like, are you okay? It's probably the first thing. And then, oh, yeah, great play. Did your head land first? Uh, I think my back of my neck and my left shoulder kind of tumbled in. Like I said, I would have been an awkward landing if I didn't have enough momentum to, you know, propel me forward. What's the craziest thing you heard in the dugout when you came back from one of the guys? I don't know. I'll tell you, I was in shock at first, I, you know, because my adrenaline was going so much. And then I saw Hosey, like, and then I got jacked up because I, I told him after, I said, man, you got me fired up just seeing your reaction. And then all the boys were pumped. So, I mean, I've been in that situation. Anytime you can get the boys fired up, it's worth it. Are you sore at all? Uh, no, I'll be good. Chris, kind of, is part of your mindset as you're kind of making the decision to jump or, or run running over, kind of consciousness of the of the rule? And maybe yeah, the it is. It's it's that's a tough way to really explain my answer because I want to be politically correct, which I usually try to steer away from. But um, it's just tough, you know. You got all these rules. You know, it used to just be, you know, if he's in the line, you know, you run him over. Um, but yeah, all that stuff happens, believe it or not, as the game as you're running. You know, it's happening. It, even though it's really fast in your mind, it's happening really slow the last three steps. I mean, those are all the thoughts that I had. Where it's like, okay, run him over. Oh, wait, I don't know. You know, he's in front of the plate. Oh, he's down. So maybe I can jump. Okay, let's jump. You know, all like that. So it's tough. I mean, I could have ran him over because he's right in the middle of the, There's no other place to go. Um, but obviously, I mean, I was there when Buster got knocked up. I was on deck um, when that happened. You just, you don't want to ever see any of that stuff. But at the end of the time, End of the day, man, I got to score that run some way, somehow. And so I was grateful to do that way. Nobody got hurt. Did Molina say anything to you? No, no. Um, I mean, I didn't even know if he caught the ball. I mean, I hit him, and I was like, surely he tagged me. You know, if he caught it, I thought he dropped it. I didn't even know he caught it until afterwards. Um, so I, I just saw a replay the first time. It looked kind of like he was shocked that I went over him. What kind of read did you get off the bat? Did you think it was going to go out? Well, yeah, that was the tricky part because, um, you know, at first I thought it was it was over his head, you know, because I knew he hit it well. So that's why I was running so hard. But then I saw the way Piscotti was checking up and kind of drifting a little bit. And then I was like, oh, shoot, I better make sure that he catches it. And that's what caught me. I lost a lot of momentum coming around second. I had to just scrape second with my cleat um, because I lost momentum going forward. So then at that point, I was like, oh, there's no way I'm going to score. But I just kept running just in case you never know. But I didn't know how far the ball kicked. And I was just grateful to keep running hard. Not starting tonight, and uh, being all the major league highlight reels. Did you think we'd be on there tonight? No, I don't ever think about that stuff. I don't sweat that stuff.